Well, there are nearly 600 million <laughs> reasons to be excited as the Mega Millions jackpot grows to $540 million tonight. But just what are your chances of actually winning this? They don't sound good, do they? But no. here's a riddle for all of you. Okay, if you lined up baseballs from Boston all the way to Los Angeles and then drove all of those miles and you were looking for one baseball with the winning jackpot, mm -hmm. are your odds of actually finding the right ball greater or lesser than winning the Mega Millions jackpot? Well, we will have the answer to that very interesting and weird <laughs> question in just a moment. But first, we go to the now KC's Tara Hall, who has been working on this story. The hype is hard to escape, as everyone seems to want a piece of the prize. But one Kansas City man won't win life-changing half a billion bucks because he says he's not even playing. I think I bought five tickets on my 18th birthday when I was first able to, to buy a lot of tickets. But since then, I haven't played uh, my entire life. It's The odds are not in my favor. And Bill Morgan should know. He's a mathematician and professor at Metropolitan Community College. The wanting to play is the dream of what, it, what the jackpot can do for you. I do think that people don't understand the magnitude of the odds, um, how much they are not in your favor. For those of you wondering, it's one in nearly 260 million, which means that if you gave every single man, woman, and child in the U.S. a random ticket, the odds are that only about one of them would have the winning numbers. Those odds of winning the jackpot don't change depending on the amount of the jackpot. So at 200 million, it's the same as if it is 600 million. Um, the part that does change is the higher the jackpot gets, the more people buy tickets. And the more people to buy tickets, the higher odds you have of sharing the jackpot with somebody else. So your overall winnings could actually be less than if you played a lower jackpot amount. Playing the jackpot, every dollar you spend, you end up getting back about 60 cents. So it's a very bad return on investment. Which is why Morgan gives this advice. If you really want to make money, put that five, fifty, or a hundred bucks into an investment account. Reporting in Independence, I'm Tara Hall, the Now KC. Boring, though. Uh, good advice, though, maybe. So we asked that uh, question uh, before we went to Tara's story. If you lined up baseballs from Boston to LA and you drove all those miles looking for the baseball with the winning jackpot, are your odds of selecting the right ball greater or lesser? Than the Mega Millions jackpot. Okay, so the answer, according to statistician Durango Bill, you are four times more likely to pick the baseball with the winning numbers than you are to find the right combination for the Mega Millions jackpot. <laughs> Not so. much reason to be optimistic, no. but still fun it's to still play. Fun. It is.